to explain all you need to know okay to gain your full mark okay in order to in order not to lose some marks now let me see something i will not be telling you much i will not be telling you about the practical procedure okay there are videos everywhere there are teachers everywhere talking about all that and besides uh the, the practicals, you might not even conduct the practicals, okay? You might just get there and, and you might get there and they'll just give you tables or values and all that. So I'm not going to be saying much about the um, the practical itself, but I'll be telling you what can make you lose mark, okay? Because it's possible we have two stages. Okay, the first stage is the practical stage where all of you have to do that together. And then the second stage is the or your stage where you have to look for your way out. Okay, why is there any need telling you about the how to carry out the practicals when all of you, when you'll be there with other persons? Okay, now what am I trying to say? Everybody is expected to have same set of values. Okay, same set of values. So, for example, you cannot be having, let me say, your M0, M0 is 50, your own special M0, okay? Your own special M0 is 50, and you, you, every other person's, okay, had um, 70. So, what am I saying? What I'm saying is that the carrying out of the practical is a general thing. Some schools will not even do it. They'll just give you your paper, give you values. I look at the readings we, we had. Okay, then after this, here comes the problem. So what you must have in mind is this. And now this is the first, this is the first um, error I must state. I hope you know why you are here. You are here to see the reason why you can have answers, or you can, you can, yes, you can here to see the reason why you, you can miss lots of mark. When presenting your precautions, when presenting your precautions, be very careful of. I ensure that when presenting your stop um, precautions, be very careful of I ensure that when carrying out your when writing your precautions, okay, avoid statements like I ensure that. Okay, this is a sign you did not. Or how will I put it? Either you, there are two things involved, okay? When you write, I ensured that I avoided error due to parallax, um, I carried out readings more than once, your points are clear. But when you put, I ensured that, there are two things involved. One of them is, either you did not perform the practical, or the second point there is, you performed the practical, but you are not... Or will I say you are not fully informed, okay, about the the procedures and process of presenting a report. The practical is not an individual thing; it's a cooperative thing. So when presenting your um, precautions, make sure you write: We ensured this, we did this, we made sure this was possible, we made sure we did this. I hope you are getting what I'm saying. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Please take note. So the first thing I'm pointing out here as a major problem, because some of you do still give you answer sheets and all that, and what will be written on the answer sheet will be I ensure that. Okay, this is a major um, reason for loss of mark. So make sure you take note of the first point here is we ensured that. Of course, a general um, precaution for all the three practicals is avoiding error due to parallax, okay? So, we make sure you state it, we ensured that we avoided error due to parallax, okay? Another general precaution is um, um, carrying out multiple readings. I don't know if that will happen for electricity, but... Okay. Mm -mm. But for the mechanics, your, your mechanics where you have to load your... 
your your mass okay and take readings of oscillations okay this particular precaution is just for that only the mechanics aspect so you can tell them you you took multiple time reading so that you can and then you took average so that you can have the best possible timing okay the best timing as possible so i've settled the first point we ensure that as simple as it is it is very important what is the next point that can make you lose mark your table your table i cannot overemphasize this your table your table there are two things i want to point out from the table the table should be as neat as possible that's the first that one i, I cannot even say that like that one is 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 very important so that table should be as neat as possible so it means while other persons are still taking values, okay, hey, I want to cancel, oh, let me cancel them, just be calm. When they are done, you ask them, are you done? Make sure they are, they are settled, okay? Make sure they are uh, settled, okay? Everything is fine and they are ready to move on to other stages and all that before you write down. That's if you guys conducted the practical, okay? But if you are giving the values um, as most persons do, Okay, you can just make sure your, your feeling is very neat and accurate. Make sure everything is to the same decimal point. Okay, all your readings in a column should be the same. 2.5, <coughs> 2.50, 3 3.71, this 0.89, the same in every column. The same decimal places. Don't miss that. Okay, the same decimal places let me say something remember let, let's talk about the table the table is very important in each of the sections make sure you have the correct unit so let's say this is m m here your gram should be on top here okay and you draw your line and then you expected to fill let's say 2.401 okay 4.312 5.417, 6 6.7, I hope you get what I'm saying, 701, and so on and so forth. Now, let's see, we have something like 4.32, this, 8. Yes, here comes another problem. This would be, this is a red flag that something is wrong with your experiment or the people that conducted it. <laughs> Okay, this is a sign. <laughs> this is the sign that something is wrong with your experiment or the people that conducted it or the people that bought the, the, the table and all that. Okay, now your value for the three experiments, your three particles, your value is is progressive. Okay, yes, you have a straight line graph, you have, either it is uh, uh, vibrating forward or, or, or back. What, what am I even saying? look at either the values are increasing downward or they are decreasing downward of which i'm sure um electricity should be increasing and um, um, mechanics should also unless they want to change some things but there is no how to be a fluctuation so fluctuation like you have you have this is two four this is five this is six here you're having four you're having eight no it should be consistent when you see something like this please cry out for help something is wrong somewhere okay now there's there's a way to maneuver values there's a way to maneuver uh, um, values when you have something like this please i will advise you whatsapp me okay my whatsapp number is on the screen you just send me a dm and i'll tell you how to do how to go about this okay because i cannot drop such information on this channel okay so just um send a message to the whatsapp number on the screen and then i'll tell you how to go about this so quickly i don't want, i never intended this video to be very long very quickly make sure your unit is each of the column you have if this current that you have here make sure you put your your unit for your current and then make sure your stuff is to the same decimal places okay and make sure it is progressive take note even if they give you the table just make sure you observe very well check well check where it's okay it's okay and then you write draw your table very well i will even advise you draw even draw both these um, horizontal lines also okay and then from there you get your mark now i think that's all about the table then the last section of this video is the graph this is the baba of them all the graph we even give you mark the graph can make you escape the general c okay when i wrote my work i wrote in a school where 
the MML up, up to 90% of the students, okay, had C, but I had A in that same school simply because I was acquainted of, of um, many things like this, many things other persons never knew about. And I don't know if I would say I, 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 I was wicked then or I don't know what to call it because then I, was not, I wasn't seeing anything. Even when I discover things that are not accurate or just like, I beg, unless those persons very, very, very close to me, I'll be like, okay, guy, look at this. This skill is not accurate, okay? If the person takes it, fine. If he doesn't, you know, somebody will be like, da, see, so, no, 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 I don't like this. I'm not taking this thing. I'll just leave you to be, okay? But then I was very, very quiet, resilient, and focused on what I'm doing, okay? Maybe because I paid, because actually I paid money to learn okay remember the person i paid to back then to understand what the the do's and don'ts okay of the whole thing here comes the practic the graph the first thing you must not joke with is the title of your graph now you see some persons will just write to just give draw graph and all that okay just draw graph no title whereas in the question they said plot a graph of this against this let me say for example in the question they said plot a graph of m squared okay plot a graph of let me say t squared t squared against m plot a graph of t squared against m on top the graph you're supposed to write that also write title write title then you write skill that's like two things you should write then under your like when you write title here then you write graph of okay t squared against m graph of t squared against m don't just assume they know what you are plotting for okay don't just assume they know what you're plotting for make sure you write make sure you write your topic and then the skill is another thing again there are many things most persons feel here you must understand them please please even if you don't watch any other aspect of this video don't joke with this part Please, I beg you, I advise you pay attention to this part of this video. It is very, very important. Okay, now you you can have a, a, a graph and plot the graph and still lose a good mark from your scale. Please observe something. The first thing I must point out is that the mathematics graph is different from physics graph. I repeat again, I don't mean the graphing. You know, we have graphing and we have, how would I put it? Y yes, I don't mean the graphing process of the process of picking of points and allocation of skills. The picking of points and allocation of skills are the same. Graph is graph, but you must understand what I'm saying. When it comes to mathematics graph, what we have mostly is Y on the vertical and X on the horizontal. Please understand this. When it comes to physics graph, it is not the same thing. Some persons will say, my skill, I use this to um, 2 cm to 4, to represent 4 units on the y-axis. Which y-axis? Let's say your graph, you plotted a graph of, let's say you plotted a graph of t squared on the vertical and then m. I hope you know that's what against mean. Okay, if they said y, this is y against x, okay? t squared against m now you plotted the graph of this and now you're telling us the scale is your scale is um uh, let me i'll still explain the scale but let me just let me just assume you, you are using four centimeter to represent 10 units on the y-axis which y-axis and then two centimeter to represent 10 550 gram on the uh, uh, 50 units on the m axis please that is wrong the way that give you half mark or zero when you want to give your skills you notice that this is not ma math what we are using is y and x here we face this axis is t squared axis and this axis is m axis i hope that is clear enough if you are plotting if you are plotting um um let me say v here and i here this is v axis and this is i axis now how do we i'm going to show you a type a typical graph example of a graph but before that how do we assign skill what does skill mean you will measure the box the length of the box okay for we have two types of graph okay 
two, one of them one of the box is one cm whereas some of them two of the box makes up one cm so if you want to confirm you can place your ruler on the box to know okay i'll show you a, an example don't worry so one box represent one cm some one two box together represent um two sorry two box together represent one cm so let's assume you are, you are using the one that represents two box represent one cm and then let's say this is your zero point this will be zero so you know let's say you're using 10 10 here you're using 20 and this will be 30 and let's say this axis here is the t squared axis i work together and let's say you're using one one box one one box on this side again um Mm, okay, let's say this is one one box, one one box, one box. Where is it? One box, one box. box, 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 box. Okay. So let's say I will show you a graph. I'm just, I just want you to understand what is happening. So let's say you are taking these two box to be four. You are taking this one to be eight. Taking this two, then this is sixteen, and then here you have um twenty four. On the this is m axis. What will be the scale of this graph? you will tell them scale your scale will be you remember you measured from year to year to be one centimeter okay you don't even need all this up but just focus on the downside if you want to get this one you will focus on this side so from year to year to be one centimeter depending on the type so if you measure from zero to year to be one centimeter what you will tell them is one cm to represent one cm to represent what you look on top here this is t squared you put in brackets you your your unit must be here this is one major difference between mass and physics your unit must be and your unit is going to be second squared please take note of this your unit will be what second squared so you tell them normally in mathematics you're supposed to write one cm to represent 10 units this is mathematics why are they calling it units you're calling it units because here we don't know what we are we're just plotting numbers the unit there means anything you are plotting the unit of anything you are plotting in case it is any field okay mathematics just giving you the standard here in physics you are plotting second squared here so since this in the, we're looking at physics now as a field now you look you'll be having one cm to represent 10 the unit on this side is what 10 second squared on the on the t squared axis this will give you your complete mark okay those are the message there okay now i hope you get what i'm saying you can pause you can watch again to understand what i'm saying now let me let me let me let's take it again here we have 10 i would measure if in case you measured and one box is one cm for the part, particular graph you're using then you should know this is one cm plus one cm then you write two cm to represent okay 10 10 what unit you check here what is unit second squared on what axis on the t squared axis remember that your, your skill you have two axes i've corrected this is not y and x okay unless you are plotting what you have here is y less that and for your three experiment none of them okay if we observe here can you okay can you pause the video and tell me what is the possible skill for this axis remember it is not x axis but m axis okay now let, let me assume you got it but let me still tell you the correct answer you check for me let's if you measured from here to here to be one cm what will you say you will say you remember you have to you've written for here you come down again on that line this all these things will be on top of the graph the top side of the graph your topic on top your, your title on top then your skill on top don't bother about how much space it occupies just make sure it is neat and on top of the graph make sure it is neat too okay and on top of the graph they will give you a mark okay you know you know just the linear five mark can transfer you from b to a okay even two even three marks i hope you get what i'm saying now let's check here let's say you measured from here to be 1 cm then you know you're looking at 2 cm here but if you measured from here to here to be 2 cm okay 
if from a measurement from here to here is 2 cm then you'll be telling them 2 cm okay but remember anything you measure from here to here will always be the same thing from here like the the boxes are square okay but you can still use this same format i'm telling you anything you, if you put four here then you measure your your distance from here to here if you put four here then you measure from here to here anything you have you just you present okay so um, so let's say from here to here is 2 cm okay please i'm telling you we have two major types of graphs so don't just feel you adapt to a pattern so basically i've memorized 1 cm to represent this no no for one box no 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 take your ruler measure and be sure of the particular one you're using I hope you're getting so if you measure from here to here to be 2 cm colliding with 4 you will tell them 2 cm to represent 4 in mathematics it is units but here it is not units we'll be using sorry this is mass right let's say in bracket they put gram here that's what we have here with gram so you tell them 2 cm to represent 4 grams on the m axis hope you're getting i'll show you a sample graph so i'm just trying to do an overview 2 cm to represent 4 gram on the m axis hmm? now having done that i think this is the major problem we have three major stages of your graph make sure the graph is neat and not make sure you avoid sweat and dirt and all that your title your skill and then finally the baba of them all your slope here comes another problem so places are used to writing slope equal to the y over the x go for bid go tell yourself go for bid go for bid which one is slope equal to the y over the x slope equal to the y over the x or change the y over change the x because we are solving for math remember here is the y axis and here is the x axis for physics now, why am I telling you this? Some some persons might make flimsy mistakes. Okay, make sure you are you know what you are doing. If you're plotting a graph of t squared on this side, it is going to be slope. Your slope is going to be your slope will be what? Change in t squared over change in and now remember to put your units. Very important. Let me cancel this. Change in t squared you put your unit there as second squared over change in m you put your unit as gram why are you doing this so that when you write your answer let's say after you've solved you solved and you had 58 you should be able to write the unit your unit your answer as um second squared per gram this is very very important so this is the major reason you are doing this. Another thing that can give you mark is if you can remember any physical, this one there is none, okay? If you know any physics, any quantity in physics, okay, that have that formula of your change in this, it gives lots of mark to write. For example, let's say you plotted a graph of V against I. So you had the change in V over change in I. There's a, there's a formula that has there's a quantity quantity that has this formula of v over i and that quantity is what resistance r so if you can put slope equal to change in v over i equal to r in ohms they will give you mark lots of mark two three okay they will know that this guy is not just this guy is a physicist this guy knows or this girl guy or girl knows what is the oh this video is becoming long i don't i never wanted this video to be long but i hope you are getting something you've gotten something i'm almost done with this so i think the next thing is to show you the graph now observe this graph observe this graph very well uh okay let me ask you what is the scale on what we have we have k i hope you can see we have k and i'm not seeing the graph already i've pictured it before in my mind so i think you you know what i'm talking about with m what am I even saying? Okay, on the vertical we have K, on the horizontal we have T. Uh, sorry, sorry, okay, this is another graph. That one is V, okay, V on the vertical, and the unit is volt, and then I on the horizontal the unit is amp. Now, observe something. What would be my scale? What would be my scale? If, let's assume you measured, 
and two of that box represent. Remember, they are making a mistake. They did not write the scale. They did not write the title too. I think so. Yes, yeah, they did not write the title. Make sure you write your own title. That's why I'm saying many persons will fail like that. Just simple, simple mistakes like this. You lose five marks. You lose ten. You lose and so on. Okay. So let's assume two of the box is one centimeter. Okay. So the scale on the vertical is going to be you write one cm to represent one amp. One cm to represent one amp on the current axis and 1 cm to represent 10 volt on the voltage axis i will together let me repeat again 1 cm to represent 1 amps on the 1 amp on the current axis and 1 cm to represent 10 volt on the voltage axis with this will give you a complete mark and then you go for your slope your slope is changing v not changing y okay you can remember look at what they did in the other guy they wrote slope equal to resistance they must give you mark because they know this guy is not just doing this this guy know the implication sometimes they can even ask you in the question what is the physical meaning of your slope and the answer is going to be resistor or um, resistance i hope you get what i'm saying so you write slope equal to resistance because the formula for resistance is volt over current and then from here you solve for the slope i hope you know how to solve for the slope okay that's the last thing we'll do here i'm almost done you solve for the slope okay and then make sure your, your units are attached to each of the stages and finally you put your ohms okay ohms because you know it is resistor or it is why am i calling resistor okay i hope you know the difference between resistance and resistor resistor is the the the, the instrument okay Resistance is the quantity. So even if I make a mistake again, just know. So resistance, the meaning of your your slope is resistance. That's why you're putting ohms. Let's assume you don't know the the quantity. You can still put volt per amp. Okay, volt per amp will still give you your your mark. Now, how does the slope work? I will even advise you even deviate from what everybody is doing because another reason for reduction of mark is mass. Sometimes the fact that you wrote what is correct does not mean you will, you will get it. If many persons are writing that same correct thing, they will most read, excuse me, they must deduct mark from you. Okay? Why will everybody be writing the same thing? You must make sure you, 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 you deviate from it. Now, how do we do this loop? Under your line, we call that line, line of best fit. Okay? Where you have to make sure you have you you arrange the line in such a way that reminds me you arrange the line in such a way you you have your your dotted points okay at least almost equal on opposite sides that's how you pick your line of best fit okay if one minute if you want further explanation please just let me know okay you pick your points on like they should be almost equal on both sides I hope you're getting that will call line of best fit now please take note of this again all your points must not fall on the line. <laughs> All your points must not fall on the line. Now, some students know how to clean, erase points and shift it back and fix it on the <laughs> fix it on the line. Now, please, you 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 are doing what we like. They will know, okay? So just leave it the way it is. Make sure you are sincere to yourself and to what you plotted, and then you just draw your line of best fit. Now, on that line. Do a triangle on any side you like, okay? Draw a triangle on a, between any points you like. Look at this stuff. I hope you know slope everywhere is constant. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Look at something. Let's say you you plotted a graph. Let's say you plotted a graph like I'm sorry I'm not using graphs, <laughs> but I know you still understand what I'm saying. Let's say you used two, four, six. 8 okay let's say you, you use here yeah, you use 5 10 15 20 and let's say you plotted the point here that corresponds to 2 and 5 plot another point again that corresponds with 4 and 10 let's say you plot another one here that corresponds with 6 and 15 and then let's say you plotted another one that corresponds here with 8 and 20 Okay, now let's say this is the line now, line of best fit. 
you can decide to let's say the school picked this kind of slope a eh? and then then add it changing this axis you have four minus two you be, how do you know the change you trace any point you have here to this side I hope you know any point you have here too any point you have a trace it to this side too hope you understand to the this vertical so you, it is corresponding with four four minus two is two over on this side you trace this line down to the vertical so you now have 10 minus 5 and that is 5 and that's this is what the school do yeah, i'm sorry what am i saying that's this is what the school did mm? you can go ahead to leave this one that everybody is doing okay you can just go ahead and do something pick this one like this bigger one and you join it like this okay and you check from here to here this is 2 this upside is 8 so 8 minus 2 you have 6 over you check here is 20 here is 5 so 20 you check here 25 so 20 minus 5 that is 15 okay if you punch on the calculator you get the same answer because 3 here is 2 and then 3 here is 5 so don't joke with this i hope you understand now what does what else do you need to check your slope anyhow you, you can never do you know you can even do it on top or just look for a way to spice it up and let it look like you are not you can take values like do whatever other person do but there, there's how you spice it up this is the same reason i had a when everybody had c okay so look for you can draw the line on top here okay and then okay or even if you're using their, their value you can draw it your, your own triangle to be on top if you're even using their own slope, instead of drawing it down, you can draw it on top like this and you get you get your mark. Okay? Uh, yes. Even if they're deducting from others, they will not deduct from it because they will, they will assume this guy this guy did something different. Or you can even go out of the box, draw it on top, pick out new points. And if you check between here, you trace here down, you have 20, you trace here down, you have 10. 20 minus 10, sorry, we'll get the side first. Trace here to the side, you have 4. To this side you have 8 minus 4 8 minus 4 is 4 on the on this axis then on this axis you have 20 minus 10 20 minus 10 is 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 10 so 2 here is 2 2 years 5 so everywhere you can see 2 over 5 2 over 5 everywhere so your slope is constant throughout okay so that's all i have to say let me summarize the major point that can make you lose mark i started i don't know if i can remember all. I started with your statement of precautions okay don't use i ensure use we ensured we did this we did that the second thing was the table make sure you write your your parameter on top with your unit make sure everything on in on each um column okay is to the same decimal places okay into the same decimal places that's one of them make sure your what else did I even state again? Make sure uh, the table is neat. Okay, you can still uh, take it back and check. And then we'll move down to the graph. Okay, where I said your title is very important. Your skill is very important. Remember, you're not doing Y and X. You're doing physical quantities now. Replace those Y and X with... Uh, y and X in mathematics with your quantities you have. Replace that unit in mass with the unit of the quantity you have here. And then we talked about the slope, and then I will discuss a lot of things. If you can, um, if you can um, apply all these you've learned from this video, I think this will give you an edge, okay, over your equals. And at the end of the whole day, God is going to see you through, and you're going to come out in flying colors. If He did it for me, I'm sure He's going to do it for you. This is still Saddam's world, where we we update you on every kind of topics. In case you have challenges with some parts of physics, chemistry, biology, maths, and all that, you can just feel free to um, find a chat or even drop it on the comment box below. Please, even as we are trying to um, enhance your results and your scores and your academic life, please try to enhance ours also by clicking, by supporting our ministry, by subscribing to the channel, liking the video, sharing with your friends, and Turn on the notification bell and all that. Everything you know you can do. Thank you and God bless you.